All right, guys, after the last video with the real world TGS, this time we're heading into the virtual world to check out TGS VR 2023. I was considering um, possibly doing something with Midai, having her being able to comment on um, what I was doing in the game. Unfortunately, I did not get a chance to do that. So it will just be a regular um, VR video of me exploring TGS VR 2023. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, we are back here in TGS VR, which we saw the last couple of years, checking it out again. My friend couldn't make it again because it doesn't uh, have audio on his computer again. A few other people have that same issue. Magic. Open the... Use magic. Press the B button on the right controller to use avatar-specific magic. Did you see that? This means we are close to the game islands. This magic is a sample of the magical effects made in this country. You're not supposed to use it until you arrive. But it works when you are getting There's a little close. camera. What? What is a sample, you ask? You don't know much about game islands, do you? Take a look at this map to learn more. Our destination is Game Islands, a floating island nation which usually doesn't allow guests to enter. In this country, various game materials are produced daily and exported to various countries. The materials produced here are turned into various games and delivered to everyone around the world. So this is the map of the area here, the Game Islands. Tokyo Game Show VR 2023. Make sure to explore all corners as you will get a new piece of equipment per stamp you collect. Some of the equipment can produce interesting magic that is different from the weak flame you saw earlier. Look! While we were chatting away, we drew close. Please wait for the arrival announcement. Thank you for coming. We will arrive at Game Islands shortly. All right, here we are. Thank you for choosing our service. Hello. Please proceed to the immigration gate. Inspecting. Uh, what is your favorite game genre? I don't know, man. You have been approved as one who loves games. Now, off you go. Let's go. Whoops. Oh, so what do we got here? We got... Avatar, we got stamps. Okay, so we just got one avatar right now. Um, the map. There's the map. Let's take a look at it. So there's the Flint Peaks, the Mystic Forest, and the Desert Garden. Three different islands. Um, and we can see the different, uh, the different like companies and, and booths at each of the islands here. Um, Koei, Magic the Gathering, Square Enix, Servios, which is uh, known for their, some of their VR games are over there on the Flint Peaks. Um, Mystic Forest has got Capcom, Konami, some idol stuff. I don't know, Monster Cat, some other stuff. Is Monster, is Monster Cat like a music thing? I forget. Um, and then Desert Garden, um, Attack on Titan, Goda, Godot is here. It's kind of, kind of interesting. Um, Sega, Atlas, Bandai Namco, um, and then there's a Velodrome, I don't know what that is. Game Tree Theater, I guess that's just like a, like a theater, I suppose. Um, so let's check it out and let's see what all this stuff is. The guide of Game Islands and the mascot everyone loves. Mascot question mark. So their mascot, I guess, is, um, two, like, a. it's not a diamond, I don't know what this is called. Two pyramids and, uh like a, another pyramid. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to grab it. 
All right, let's check it out. We got Sonic over here. Welcome to Game Islands. And we got uh, the slime, the blue slime from um, the Square Enix game. Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest. Right? I never actually played it. I just know the character. Is that like Idol Master? Not really sure. It could be any idol. A lot of the idols are very similar. I guess that's probably for the virtual Kaden yes. Velodrome, right? Look at all the popular game characters. Yeah. Oh, look at that dragon. Dragon's Dogma, too. Hello. Can I, like, go up? I can't jump, I guess, right? There's no, like, flying. No. I can't like jump up here or anything. The game tree. So this is the theater. Oh, there's a person here. Hello. Oh, is that just the default? I think that's the default, isn't it? Yeah, that's the default. Hello. Ponuzo. So there's a theater here with a schedule. Behind the scenes of TGS VR. That's kind of, that might be interesting. Um, that's in a long time though. <laughs> it's at 5 p.m. TGS 2023 special program. VR. So these are all like VR. You know, I mean, I guess it's, I don't know how interesting they are. But I guess they are all specific to TGS VR, the videos. Although I imagine they might have them on YouTube or something also probably. So these open up web browsers if you click them, um, just based on previous TGS VR. That's usually how they work. Um, but they don't actually open in VR, they usually open on your desktop. Yeah, nothing's in here right now. Oh, there's here's some people. Dude, this person has a Sonic head. This person's head is sideways. And their hands are like flying off everywhere. Is, is, is my hand muted by default? I don't even know. Hello. Konichiwa. Hello. 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 You guys' hands are crazy. Your hands are like flying. And your head sideways. Oh, I can see your hand moving. I can't hear you if you're talking. Kiko and I. Okay, see you. My done it. Wow. Yes. Okay. Yes. See you. My done it. Oh, another person. Yes. Konnichiwa. Yes. Hello. I don't even know if they heard me. I guess they did, because as soon as I unmuted, they uh, just kind of stopped. So, they must have heard me, but I, maybe, they, maybe they don't know how to unmute. Hello. Let's see what this Velodrome is. Oh, I got a new outfit. Welcome. A global sport born in Japan, Kaidin. Huh, I never heard of it. Interesting. Let's see. 
Yes. Uh, it's like a cyclist race, I guess. Oh, uh, the second half of the race, they start competing. So it's like the first half, I guess, they're like co-op co and then they switch over. Racing Robo. They were specifically modified for racing. Human, the Travelers, and Beast. A race that lives in the desert area. Alright, let's see what's over here. Is this actually be like a mini game? Is this just... What is going on? Yeah, I think this is just like a, a animation. These aren't real people. そして後方にいるのは黒2番、オレンジ7番。チェックアウトネクストエリア。そのさあ、9人の選手が縦1列になります。ワンパン。Oh, another person. Oh, it's the same guy, I think. Me. Oh, it's, uh... The official ambassadors, the Omega sisters, and... Niji Sanji, Kagami Hayato, and Shu Yamino. The Omega sisters are really funny. They do these interesting videos, too, where they do live action, but they impose their, um... Their character heads, like, on their body and stuff. They also do a lot of funny uh, AI uh, like jokes and stuff. They have AI generate stuff and it looks really weird. Yes. You can go to Mystic Forest. So this is the main, probably the main area, basically the three islands. Let's see what else we got here. You can go to Mystic Forest. Huh? I guess it's the same. Okay. How about here? Think. Same, okay. So it's just, I think that's just, just it. It's just those things and then the main area. So let's go check out the main area. Oh, here we go. Um, I guess we'll start from just top to bottom. Let's go Flint Peaks. Okay, here we are. Kadi. This is our country, Flint Peaks. We make the armor that we put our hearts and souls into from the ores found in this region. As you can see, many of us are stubborn, so be careful. Welcome. Square Enix, uh, little avatar characters.
Welcome to 7th Heaven. Oh, we got some music? Oh, pinball. Dude, this would be awesome if this was like a mini game. These are really tall pinball machines. Holy, holy moly. What else? Click. So it changes the music. So all these little characters talk now, that's kind of cool, and they have like an animations. I don't know what these are though. KT. I have a feeling that these are like mobile games or something. Warp? Oh, I can warp here. Okay, let's check it. Can't really interact with too much. Can I go up here? No. What is this? Yeah, it's just these are just like all like little environments. Well, maybe just click one of these and see what happens. Open browser. Yeah, yeah. Okay, they're all browser stuff. Oh, that's right. I forgot, like, you can look, like, at the posters. But, yeah, there's nothing really else, though. Okay, yeah, and they turn the videos and stuff. I'm not going to watch any full videos here. You, you know, if you guys are interested in them, you can just check YouTube. For the different game trailers. The weapon shop and the armor shop. It's over here. Is that the is that the king? Oh, it's a statue of the ancestor who made the legendary holy sword. It's cool they try to put like lore to like all these little areas, but it's like every year they change the uh, the areas though, so it's just kind of all this lore is gonna be gone after this. Oh, it looks like some little history thing, 1986. Uh, in July, the twin Famicom something came out. The disc system? Nintendo uh, disc system came out in February.
Don't really know what this is. Game was a famous person, Bo Boom, or something. It's the gaming boom. I don't know. First PlayStation or the Sega Saturn, which was released earlier. I would take a picture of it for me, take a quest. I don't think we're gonna be doing all the quests. Last time there was like 70 plus random things. Uh, so which came out first, PlayStation or Sega Saturn? I'm not actually sure. It's a good question. Hmm. I wanna say PlayStation, but I'm not positive. Magic the Gathering. Another little history thing. The Mega Drive in 1988. The Mega Drive in October, toward the end of October. Um, Dragon Quest. And then the PC Engine in December. Nineteen eighty nine Game Boy nineteen ninety Super Famicom Game Gear The Neo Geo Forgot about that thing. Can I go down here? No. Ruins Magus. Magus, I don't know how you say that. The character bank space. So I guess, is that where you get characters? Let's see. Oh, it's like a, is that a company? Hello? Oh, I can't go up there. Yeti Rush. Looks kind of like uh, an indie game or something. Imaginary Game Studios. What is this? Wait, can I do something with this? Is this a VR game? What is this? No, it's not. Uh, it's some kind of uh, strategy game, it looks like. All right. Servios. The gamer. Is this the. Oh, so it is still VR. Yeah, I know that their boxing game was always the most popular one. I don't know if this is like an, if they're making new versions or something or what. Um, the gamer. Hi everyone, Stacey Henley here, editor-in-chief of The Gamer. Hi, I'm Meg Pleacher and I'm here with The Gamer. Hey everyone, George Foster. Oh, is this the Sega Saturn here? Oh no, this is the Sega CD, Japanese version. And the PC Engine Duo. I wonder why my magic thing turned into uh, cheer. It's not the fire anymore. Maybe it's just based on your area. Oh, maybe the avatar. It's based on the avatar, probably. Oh, yeah, it's based off the avatar. Okay. What is this? Oh, it just plays a sound effect. Okay. Some arcade machines here, 1992. What is this? The Wonder Mega? Wonder, is this the Wonder Swan? 
Wonder Swan Mega, maybe? I don't know, it just says Wonder... Something Mega. This mine is a good is a source of good quality iron. Here we go, PlayStation and in the uh, Sega Saturn. So it looks like Saturn came out one month before. In fact, only a few days before, like a week or so before. I guess you can take a picture for that guy. Flint Peaks. We completed the Flint Peaks quest. Let's see what uh, kind of avatar. What's our magic? Oh, we got like. Oh, we got lightning. It's a little animated dust. It's this guy. Can I go down? No. The word serious in Japanese is made of the characters for true and sword. This word represents us. Oh, a bunch of rabbits. Life insurance company. Looks like a VTuber. Yeah, you can even see comments on the right side. Oh, but it's like the VTuber of whatever this game is, or whatever this uh, application is. Probably the life insurance company's official. Oh, I got the rabbit avatar. What's up here? What is this? Sateda view? Sabius? Some kind of service for the uh, Super Nintendo, I guess? It was the Virtual Boy, 1995. Nintendo 64. Uh, Game Boy Pocket, 1996. Pokemon. We're back to the beginning. All right, we've gone through the twin. Uh, What's it called? Twin Peaks. <laughs> the Flint Peaks. My bad. Uh, Mystic Forest. Let's check it out. This is our country, Mystic Forest. Here is where we grow the animals and vegetables that we love, as well as make magical effects, too. The Mystic Forest. The Konami here, it's some, uh, the world, something world. Bomberman 2? Bomberman R2. Super Bomberman R2. Metal Gear Solid 1. Master Collection. Resident Evil 4. That would be cool if they had like the whole village or something and you could like go walk through the village. That would be cool. Street Fighter. Can I select stuff? No. <laughs> well? Animals. Which was first, Nintendo DS or PSP? I think it was PSP, right? The Dreamcast, the legendary Dreamcast, 1998. Does Super Famicom 
Junior? I have no idea what that is. The Neo Geo Pocket. Well? Game Boy Color. 1990. Man, a lot of stuff came out in 1998. Rhythm Castle. Nineteen ninety nine Wonder Swan Neo Geo Pocket The Nintendo sixty four disc drive the Sony Pocket Station which I never heard of before and some kind of version of the Dreamcast that was this Hello Kitty it looks like. Can't really tell, I don't know what the, the kanji is before before version. Sky Children of Light Space. That game company's Sky Children of Light Space. Oh, this guy has a crazy avatar. Can we go in these? No. Add to Steam wish list. Interesting. I've never seen that feature in this game before. Oh, there's it's the costume. Oh, that guy's gone. Where'd he go? See what's next. The year 2000. PS2. PS1. Uh, what was that? Like a re, uh, port it's like a small version of the PlayStation 1. Level 5 debut. Wonder Swan Color. Alright. Welcome. Monster Cat. Yeah, I knew it was like a music thing, right? What's this? Oh, there's a room here. Guginka. It almost feels like horror. But there's not really anything here. Collecting stamps? No, I have no idea how to do that. Oh, maybe the avatars are just the stamps. Maybe that's what they're talking about. Oh, stamp. Oh, whatever. I don't know how to do that, so. V talking with vegetables. Oh, what do we got here? The GameCube, the Game Boy Advance 2001. Oh, it's like Super Monkey Ball. Yeah. TV Asahi. Meta ship. There's a lot of random VTubers. What is this supposed to do? Ruly Web. What is this? I have no idea. Two thousand two, the Xbox and the I don't know what that is, Some version of the PlayStation. Game Boy Player. Oh, so GameCube could play the Game Boy games. I think that's what that was. 
Xbox Live 2003, Game Boy Advance SP, and the PSX hard disk something DVD record. So it's like this weird thing. <laughs> Hebel House. I th oh, there's people. I think Hebel House is like builds houses. I think you, they make houses for you. Let's see. They're like a company in Japan, I think, that builds houses. Oh, maybe. Oh, look at that, dude. It's like a little dome. Or maybe they're. Yeah, see, they build houses, I think. Oh, people. Let's see if we can talk to them. Hey, hello. Hello. I don't think any of these guys have VR. They look like they are desktop. Two thousand four. Super Mario Brothers. Is this for HV Game Boy? Some Game Boy game, Game Boy Advance, PlayStation something, Nintendo DS. Oh, and the PlayStation, and the PSP. So it looks like I was uh, wrong. The DS came out just before the PSP. Let's take a picture. Mystic Forest. Let's switch over to that. Oh, we got it. We got ice. Wow. 2005. E3. Bandai, Namco, something. I guess they merged, maybe. Xbox 360. 2006, PlayStation 3, the Wii, DS Lite. 2007, PS3 and PSP, new model, Monster Hunter. <laughs> Nintendo DSi, PSP 3000, 2008. Two thousand nine Nintendo uh not Nintendo, McDonald's. McDonald's Nintendo DS spot. And PS3 something about Wi Fi. And I guess that's it for the Mystic Forest. All right, let's check out the next area. This is our country, Mystic Forest. Desert Garden. Oh, this person actually has sound on. Hello. Yeah, they just, it's like their background this sound or something. Desert Garden. We design and make all the furniture and decorations in the stands. Oh, Sonic Superstars. Definitely going to play that. This is going to be awesome. Oh, this is the, um, this is the balloon from the actual TGS. Ryuga Gotoku, Ryuga Gotoku Studios. Persona? Is that Persona? Atlas. It's like the Persona cat, right? Idol Master Shiny Colors, Bandai Namco Space. 
All right, back in here. I do appreciate that I feel like the, these current TGS is a little bit more streamlined than the previous ones. Them in the previous ones, you had to go around and look for stuff, and there's just a whole bunch of um, random boots everywhere. It's more streamlined, I feel like. The areas are a lot more open. You can kind of see everything far away. You don't have to, like, go right into, like, a long line of just a bunch of boots. Mita. What is this? Mita Tiv? Mira Tiv? 2012 Konami Hudson Wii U 3DS LL Groove Fit Island. It's over here. Oh, it's a VR game. VR Day Rhythm Fitness. Steam VR Pico and MetaQuest. Pico's Pico's really getting to be kind of a competitor to Quest these days. The After Party Harbor. What's that big ship for? Wow, there's like those are titans fighting up there. What is this? A smartphone or PC compatible? There's tickets to like some kind of online. I have no idea what this is. This is the Attack on Titan after party space. So, it doesn't support VR. That sucks. But so it is actually just the software. It's like in this application, you have to buy a ticket to participate in this event. It's kind of crazy. These are very blurry. They couldn't get better resolution. Definitely not worth attending that thing. Neko. Happy Valentine's Day. Whoa, it's a horse. Let's go. Masayoshi. Something Shuya and Rosakun. Rosakun? Rose. Rose. Rosakun, I think. Are these like all different VTubers, I guess, maybe? Or just different characters? Stream stage. TGS VR. Yeah, I think they're like streamers, I guess. Streaming VTubers. PS Vita TV. Two thousand fourteen. Xbox One. Three DS LL. Didn't we already see it? LL. Mobu. Uh, Shenmue. Like hey. some Shenmue Two, or something. PlayStation VR, Nintendo Classic, Pokemon Go. Here's Godot, also known as Godot. <laughs> what is this? The Ghost House is a VR game? So let me just present myself. I've been working in Yanga since 2014 and in all these years I've made lots of good stuff. So let me show you like in 16 seconds everything that I did. So that Kudo. There's Neko again. Neko guy. Whee! Whee! 
PlayStation Classic Neo Geo Mini. Oh, the Japanese Esports Association. I don't think that I, I think a lot of people don't actually like them though. Neko, huh? let's talk to this Neko. Konichiwa. Konichiwa. See you, Matane. I don't think anyone knows how to unmute. Either that or they just don't want to. The Quest 2 came out over here. Hebel House. Once again. Pinball. Do they put pinballs in your house for free? <laughs> Their houses look pretty cool, right? I think they look pretty nice. But yeah, dude, it's like this house with like this little uh, interior, like exterior thing. It's like a like a little interior garden or whatever. Unless they, unless that's a glass ceiling, maybe. Just water over here. Nothing really. Alright, it looks like that's it for this area. And we'll see if there's anything else, but that might actually just be it for TGS VR. Oh, there's a little pyramid over here. Yep. This pyramid is full of treasures. Can we actually get to them? Is it like a secret? Rupee the camel. <laughs> you know what? This is our country, Desert Garden. This guy is still here. Let's see what. Let's see if we missed. If we missed anything, let's go back to the game tree. Yeah, I was thinking about maybe seeing if Mirai could react to, to me playing. Um, like, I could give her my vision and she can comment on it. Uh, but I didn't get around to it. Um, you know, I, I wasn't sure how big of a... Like, how big of a thing this uh, game would be, this application would be. Looks like it wasn't all that big, so I think that's okay. And it ends today anyway, so I, I didn't feel like having to try to code all that stuff and figure out how to do it. Um, I may do it for some maybe future uh, event, future videos, though. Maybe she can comment on me like playing games or something, playing VR games. Um, but otherwise, it looks like looks like we've seen everything. The only thing remaining, I think, is the theater. It has those scheduled videos, but I imagine those are just on YouTube somewhere. You could probably see them. All right, guys. Well, that was Tokyo Game Show VR 2023. Um, hope you enjoyed it. It was a bit shorter, I think, and quicker than some of the previous ones. But at least it was pretty streamlined, quick and to the point. It was pretty nice. So, I um, hope you enjoyed it. That's it for this video. And as always, until next time, see you later.